Hi, Nikki here. This is Half King on the Line with your host, with your host, Nikki. <laughs> Good evening. This is Cast King on the Line with Nikki. And tonight we have yet another very special guest. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know, make sure you guys subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel and castking.com so you're able to see our videos for Casting on the Line. And also make sure you follow along on Spotify, Apple, uh, you know, we have podcasts all over. Uh, but not only do we do podcasts, but we also have them on YouTube as well. Uh, so make sure you guys subscribe to castking.com. All right, tonight we have Mr. Jimbo Keith. Welcome to the show, hey. Mr. Keith. <laughs> I appreciate it. How are you? Oh, very great. Very great. Um, for people that can't see Mr. Uh, Jimbo Keith, he is actually driving. Um, so he's, but hands-free, he's doing it very, uh, very secure. <laughs> um, yep, very secure. We're safe and secure. No safe worries and secure. here. He's on the way to a ball game. So you're taking your kids? Yeah, my son plays tonight. He's got a high school basketball game tonight. That's so awesome. So, That's really yeah. awesome you do that and um, spend time with your kids. That's really great. And Absolutely. I'm just, very happy to get a few minutes of your time. I'm very excited yeah. to have, have you on the show. Yep. Absolutely. So, Chimbo, how I know you're a pro guide fisherman, right? Uh huh. Are, yep. And that's for a uh, saltwater guide? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we do probably 99% of our saltwater is it, it is saltwater of our guiding, but we do do a little bit of freshwater also. And then I, I also tournament fish. And we do saltwater and freshwater tournaments as well. Uh, but I am a full-time charter boat captain. Uh, spend probably 230 to 200 and around 230, 250 trips a year. Sometimes that's two trips in one day. But wow. we're on the water a lot. So we definitely put our equipment to the test. For I sure. Can, I, I can only imagine that's that's got to be a, a lot of work. Uh, I hear yeah. about being a, a guide all the time and I, I can, all the work that goes into it, I can only imagine. Um, yep. Yep. Now, is this, uh, is this what you do? Is this something, uh, extra that you do? Do you do, uh, have another job or, um, no, this is a, I'm a full-time. That's what full -time. I do. Is I, yep. Full-time. I do nothing else, but, but run charters and tournament fish. Oh, and the God. tournament fishing's honestly turned into more of just what we do for fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I used to tournament fish to make extra money. And, and once we started guiding, the tournament fishing just become a, a fun thing to do, uh, you know, just to get it to get that little competitive nature that you like to have, be a little competitive. So we get to do that. And uh, I actually do that with my dad. That's another he's our one of the full time guides in our charter service. He oh, actually wow. started everything. So uh, we Family. our charter service is, is one of the biggest in our area. Uh, we are the biggest in our small little town, but we have four boats that run uh, charters. We have three full-time boats and then one part-time boat that runs charters uh, year-round right here in Cedar Key, Florida. Oh, wow. I was going to ask you, what part uh, do you do yep. this guiding in? Cedar Key? Yep, it's in, it's in Cedar Key, Florida, if you look it up. Uh, the University of Florida is in Gainesville, right in the middle of the state, and we're due west of Gainesville. If you look across the map there of Florida, on the west coast, there's a little point that sticks out about halfway down the shoreline there, and that would be Cedar Key. Like, you know, you're you're not far from me. I, I live here. Oh, in, yeah? Uh, yeah, Summerfield. Uh, okay, the, nice. Yeah, yeah but by, the, by the villages up here. So that's Yeah, that's really it's great. not far at all. I'll have to get out there and do yeah, I need to get you over there one day and get you on the boat. Absolutely. You know, I'm game. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I'm a freshwater fisherman, but I'm just starting uh, to learn to get into saltwater. Uh, so I've been doing a little saltwater fishing and caught a couple grouper. Um, yeah, nice. What, uh, nice. What, do we, you, what do you usually go, go out ahead. for? We're inshore guides is uh, what you call what our title is kind of, I guess you would call it. Uh, but we fish the flats, which is all near shore fishing. Uh, it's kind of like if you, what we tell people when they worried about getting seasick is we tell them that if you can fish in a lake, then you can fish with us. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're inside of land 99.9% .9 of the time, unless it's super, super foggy. 
but uh, we catch trout, speckled sea trout, redfish, which is a red drum. Uh, we catch triple tail, cobia, uh, uh, shark, Spanish mackerel, all kind of fish that are inshore there. But our main our main four targets is trout, triple tail, uh, redfish, and cobia. That's the main fish we actually target. Uh, oh wow! We do get a few tarpon, but not not a bunch. Our area just not. It has good tarpon fishing, but it's just not really known for the tarpon. Wow. So, now, now you said your family run. Your dad does this with you as well? Did he start this? Yep. yep he started this uh, back in 1985. And uh, I came on the scene about 2003, I'm guessing, and uh, got my captain's license then and, and started guiding part-time. And then the past five years, I've been full-time. Uh, and then about three years ago, Actually, about four years ago, my cousin came on and my uncle at the same time uh, started guiding with us as well. We've all fished our whole lives and uh, been very blessed to be able to do it as a, as a job now, as a career. That, that's really, and blessed is right, to be able to do that with your family, to be able to yep. not only fish with your family, but work with your family uh, and, and do it together as a, as a unit, as a family unit. That's, you know, that's, yep. you know, that's a big thing these days that it's unheard of you know uh not it, a lot. Is, it is and it is yep. and it really it it really helps us in our in the in the game of guiding uh because one of the things that makes us very successful in fishing is when we're all out there on the water we work together for our customers so we can fish four spots at one time four different places all at one time and find out where the fish are biting faster than one guy that's fishing by himself hunting for a school of fish to be biting so we, we stay in contact with each other via the phone and text messages. Other say, hey, get need to get your party over here. You know, it really plays to our advantage. I, yes, I can imagine. And uh, also, it's nice to have your family there. You know, when when somebody's sick or somebody's unable to um, to help, they're there to help you uh, to get. Oh, the absolutely. Guys. Yep, absolutely. Yep, fill in when we can't. You know, make something happen. We can always get somebody to help us out. So it actually it actually works out perfect. That's great. Now, for fishing, have you what? When did you first start? Were you did you fish at a young age as a child? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was actually uh, I was tournament fishing in local turn bass tournaments, freshwater tournaments here in Florida. At the age of twelve, my dad allowed me to start fishing with him, and he's fished tournaments from the time I can remember. Uh, and at twelve years old, I started competing with him uh, in local tournaments around here, and he already had a pretty good name for himself. And we started kind of teaming up on them together and we joined, we were part of a couple of local clubs around Gainesville in our area and uh, started doing pretty well. And between guiding, my dad guiding at the time and me and him fishing tournaments, we were able to put my mom through the master's program at, at the University of Florida. So it's a pretty cool deal there. Oh, get out and, of uh, That's we, amazing. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, finished up her master's degree so for her teaching. So, uh, that's pretty great. cool little deal there that we can we kind of brag about a little bit. That's that's really really cool, Jimbo. That's I mean that's yeah that's really beautiful that you're able to do that. Yep. Yep. So uh, now you did you go to school? Uh, what did you go to school for? Oh, uh, I didn't. I never went to college. My mom did, uh, and my dad, I kind of came out of high school wanting to just kind of make a living. And uh, school wasn't really my thing, so I went in the construction field, and uh, then I worked for the county here, locally for in the construction world, and then uh, started guiding part time and fell in love with it after the first trip I took, and uh, got my got certified through the Coast Guard with my captain's license and all all the legal bounds that you have to take, and uh, eventually got we got busy enough that I could do it full time. Wow. Yep. Yep. It's, uh, when I say we're living the dream, we're definitely living the dream. You are living the dream. That is really, <laughs> really cool. Yeah. Uh, give us, give us one second. I just have to, um, you have a word from our sponsors here. Absolutely. Cast, Cast King offers you affordable innovation through the best fishing tackle, including a wide variety of quality fishing rods, fishing reels, fishing line, and fishing accessories. Look for Cast King products on amazon.com. Tackle Warehouse, AcademyOutdoors.com, eBay, and of course, Casking.com. Make the switch to Casking like so many fishing pros have. 
And we are back with Mr. Jimbo Keith here. We are just uh, diving into his uh, fishing story and he's telling us um, uh, how he got into it and uh, why he's doing it. Um, so if you weren't doing fishing right now, is there anything else that you would want to do? Or is this everything that, that, that you've wanted? It's, I enjoy working for myself because I set my own schedule. Uh, I'm able to coach my son's high school football team. I help coach it along with a couple friends. And uh, But I'm doing pretty much what I want to do. It's it's great. I really enjoy my job and enjoy working with some great people like Cass King and a few other companies. And uh, like I say, we're just – we're living the dream. Uh, nope. It's really good. What is it you do for Cass King? Uh, we're one of their pro guides, so we, we help – get their inshore estuary rod rolling uh, and we're able to push that for them uh, when it first came out and it has been great uh, <laughs> so it's, it's been a great product and you can tell because it's not in stock <laughs> exactly so you can tell that it, it is selling fast <laughs> but, i love uh, that, that was, i love that estuary rod yeah yeah there it's a very good blank very uh durable eyes on the rod and the in the, the rods have seemed to hold up really really well I've got some of them that are a little over a year old, which is in our business. If you get a year out of some tackle, you're doing pretty good. Because <laughs> uh, you got to think about several different kinds of people holding a rod and handling a rod. It ain't just like you going and buying one and, and you get to take care of it and see how it uh, put it up and put it down, put it in a rod holder. You get a lot of people on our boats that, that have never fished before. So they don't know what it's like to have to take care of a rod uh, and they take some abuse. I mean, that's simple, simple put, they just get abused. And when you get a piece of equipment that holds up or that is very affordable, it's, it, it's really nice. Exactly. It's just something less you have to worry about, you know, being a guy, there's so it's, many things going through your mind. Uh, so, uh, okay. We, we, we run the, yeah, we back me. Yeah. But like, uh, we're using a, sharky three reels on those rods and it they really seem to be holding up nice oh yeah i love that reel yeah. i love yeah i love the rod and that's a good combo too oh it's a very good combo uh i've used real expensive reels and i've used not so expensive reels and they seem to hold up as good if not better than the two three hundred dollar reels i have zero I say zero issues. The only issue I've ever had with them Sharky reels is the handle, to be honest. And that's not often. So, I mean, when somebody goes and they're looking at a $70 reel, it's hard to beat. You know, <laughs> at the high end, you're, you're a little less than 70 even. So, uh, really hard to beat those little Sharky three reels. And again, it's it's something less for you to have to worry about being a, uh, a captain. Uh, Abs absolutely. Having to absolutely. worry about a boat. I mean, now, uh, getting into that, but that's got to be crazy. Uh, I can't imagine everything that goes through your mind getting a guide trip ready. Uh, there must be a whole setup. You have to worry about the weather. You have to worry about uh, the people that are going to be on your boat, their safety. You have to worry about, I mean, it's that's why I guess it's nice to work with your family to, to help with that burden. It is. It is. And there, there's a lot of preparation that goes into guiding. Uh, behind the scenes that people don't see it's not just the basically cleaning of the boat and getting the equipment ready yeah. but like you said you got to pay it you got to be a weatherman a photographer a boat mechanic a rod and reel mechanic sometimes an auto mechanic uh, you got to be able to do a little bit of everything if you're in our situation i mean there's some guys that you know they've never had to work on their own equipment they if their boat breaks down they just call the mechanic and he comes and fixes it exactly. in our world in our little town if if you have something that breaks, you, you got to fix it on the fly. A lot of issues that you're trying to deal with and throw or juggle. Not, but when you like to put things, you like to put all your odds in, in your favor. So, uh, and leave the things you can't handle, you know, you leave them at what you can't do. Uh, like controlling the weather or the fish bite. Uh, other than leave that, that. Leave that to God, right? That's right. That's right. You got to put that in God's hands and then try to uh, make sure you can do all you can, you know, all your chips in the right basket, whether it be your outboard or the boat you're using, you know, 
are you, and your rod and reels and equipment and your GPS and stuff, you got to make sure that stuff's top of the line. Absolutely. Now, uh, are your kids, do your kids get into fishing too as well? Oh, my kids love it. Kids <laughs> love it. Matter, matter of fact, two of the Christmas presents my son got this year were some cast king rods and some reels. So <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yep, that's, yep he's, he's kind of got the kayak bug. Uh, he's 17 years old. He loves it. So, and my little girls, I got a 14 year old and a nine year old, and they both love it too. They've got some nice PR records on redfish. So, their, their personal bests are pretty good. Well, they're, so, look who their daddy is. They have the best teacher in the world. <laughs> yeah. They just don't get to go as much as they'd like to sometimes, but they get to go. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm sure with school and yeah. everything, but, but that's yeah. great. It's so great to hear. Again, uh, it's nice to hear family, uh, family oriented, family. Uh, to help with your your job and charter and then everybody in it together uh, as a family, especially nowadays. It's just really nice to hear that, you know? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Family first, that's yep. all that matters. But, yep. uh, Faith and family, that's it, no doubt. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, you're on your way to a, a ball game, taking your son? Yep, my, actually he's already there. Just me and my wife and my daughters are going to meet him there. So we can watch it. That's yep. great. Well, I uh, Absolutely. I don't want to uh, hold you up anymore. I know you're a you know you're a very busy man, but uh, I just want to tell you it was wonderful to have you on. Uh, you know, just to get a few minutes of your time and uh, to to dive into um, what it is that that makes you you. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe we can get together and do one of these on the boat one day. I so, would love that. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That would oh, be a yeah. blast. We're yeah, we'll catch a few fish for these catch people few, to watch. Yeah, exactly. Catch a few fish, talk a little bit. That would be great. I really look forward to it. Yeah. I can't thank you yeah. enough for uh, being on the show and uh, giving us a little bit of your time. Thank you so much, Jim. Absolutely. Yep. Y'all have a good night. All right. Cast King, K-A-S-T-K-I-N-G spells affordable innovation. Make the switch to Cast King for the best value in fishing gear. Cast King offers you an affordable, quality alternative to high-priced fishing products. Thanks for spending time today with Cast King on the line. Thank you so much, Jimbo. Yeah, you're welcome. See you, Nicole. All right. All right, guys, keep grinding, stay strong, always stay humble, and always keep on fishing. I'll catch you guys in the next adventure. Make sure you guys subscribe, Cast King, uh, YouTube, uh, castking.com on YouTube, and make sure you follow us along for the podcast and Spotify and Apple Tunes, and uh, check us out on uh, for the podcast, guys. I'll catch you guys later.